For centuries, Pompeii has been a captivating window into the lost world of ancient Rome. Each excavation unveils another piece of the puzzle, bringing us closer to understanding the daily lives of its citizens. We've marveled at a range of discoveries from frescoes depicting everything including mythological battles and the pizza fresco depicting a surprisingly familiar meal, to the haunting remains of victims seeking refuge. But beneath the beautiful artwork lies a hidden story, the story of how Pompeii itself was built. Recent excavations in Regio 9, particularly Insula 10, have unearthed a treasure trove of information not about the final moments of the city but about the lives of its inhabitants and the remarkable ingenuity of Roman engineering. Pompeii was divided into nine districts called regions. Each regio offered a glimpse into the diverse social and economic fabric of the city. Today, our main focus is the an area known as Regio 9, a district that continues to unveil its secrets with every excavation. Regio 9 is situated in the heart of Pompeii and is bounded by the bustling Via Donola to the north, the Via Stabiana to the west and the Via dell'Abbondanza to the south. Its story stretches back centuries and reflects the city's evolution. As Pompeii flourished in the 1st century AD, Regio 9 underwent a significant transformation. Gone were the grand houses, in their place arose workshops humming with activity. There were skilled artisans working in dedicated product workshops. Fulanikai, who were specialized laundries also dotted the district, their large basins and workbenches catering to the needs of Pompeii's inhabitants. Tragically, all this came to an end when the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79 buried the city of Pompeii and other surrounding towns. Ever since its discovery, Regio 9 has been a treasure trove for archaeologists. Early excavations at the area were initially conducted in 1888 but were later interrupted and unearthed remnants of grand atrium houses and hinted of a time when the Samnites, an oscan speaking Italic people held sway over Pompeii. Fast forward to the 21st century and Regio 9 still has much to reveal. Some of the recent captivating discoveries in the area include the famous pizza fresco depicting a flatbread with toppings that some believe to be an early ancestor of pizza. There was also the recent tragic discovery that unearthed the remains of three victims, forever frozen in time as the volcanic fury overwhelmed them. The atrium of a house with an adjoining oven even revealed frescoes depicting scenes from Roman and Greek mythology and offered a glimpse into the artistic sensibilities of Pompeii's residents. Additionally, traces of charred furniture hinted at a fire that ravaged the structure before the final eruption. Regio 9's story doesn't end there. This is because the most captivating finds lie not in the finished structures but in the unfinished business, a construction site remarkably preserved by the very event that sealed Pompeii's fate. Recent excavations, particularly focusing on Insula 10, have unearthed a treasure trove of information not just about daily life but also about the remarkable ingenuity of Roman engineering. This is where our journey takes a fascinating turn, shifting from the everyday lives of Pompeii's residents to the secrets behind the city's enduring structures. This discovery is more of a home renovation caught mid-swing, with tools abandoned and materials stacked ready for use. Archaeologists believe it was a renovation project, possibly focusing on a house adjacent to a bakery where slaves and donkeys were likely used to power a mill. The atrium of the house was partially open to the sky and building materials were piled up near a stairwell leading to the tablinum, or reception area. Interestingly, this area was decorated with a mythological painting of Achilles on Skyrus, depicting the famed Greek hero. There are Roman numerals scrawled in charcoal on nearby walls and are likely notes made by the construction workers and have added another layer of detail to the scene. According to scholars, this building site was in full swing right up until the fateful day of eruption in 79 AD. Evidence suggests a bustling scene with workers toiling away. Among these materials lie clues. There are jars, possibly used for storing and mixing water, lead weights for hoisting heavy stones during construction, and iron hose for mixing mortar. All of these are untouched and it is as if they were abandoned during the eruption. These everyday tools paint a vivid picture of the labor involved. Interestingly, experts believe that the lead weights might have been used in a plumb bob configuration, a simple yet ingenious tool for ensuring verticality in walls. Interestingly, the recent excavation itself was aimed at regulating the water flow between the excavated and unexcavated parts of Pompeii, revealing a fascinating detail. The construction site encompassed the entire insular block. The most captivating aspect of this discovery lies not in the tools themselves, but in the technique they hint at, hot mixing. Imagine mixing concrete, 
Normally, we use dry cement powder and mix it with water to create a paste that hardens over time. This is similar to how the Romans traditionally made concrete, except they used a material called quicklime instead of cement. Quicklime needs to be soaked in water for a long time before it can be used, like letting tea leaves steep before you drink the tea. This process is called slaking and it doesn't generate much heat. However, evidence suggests the Pompeii builders employed a different approach called hot mixing. Instead of pre-mixing the quicklime with water, or slaking it, the Romans likely kept it dry. They then mixed this dry quicklime with volcanic ash, a readily available material in their region. Right before using the mixture, they would add water. This triggered a reaction between the quicklime and water, creating heat. The result? A mortar that dried much faster than the usual method. This hot mixing technique resulted in a much faster drying process due to the heat generated by the reaction. This innovation significantly reduced construction times, a crucial factor for a city likely still recovering from a major earthquake just 17 years prior, details of which we covered in a previous video. The ability to quickly rebuild damaged structures would have been paramount for Pompeii's inhabitants. Previously, experts believed the Romans pre-mixed quicklime with water while it was stored. However, Regio 9 reveals a different story. Here, evidence suggests the workers mixed the lime with water on site creating an extremely hot mixture. The implications of hot mixing extend beyond just speed. The resulting mortar was likely more durable than traditionally slaked lime, potentially contributing to the enduring strength of Roman structures like the Colosseum and Pantheon. This focus on long-lasting construction resonates with modern concerns about sustainability. Perhaps by studying these ancient methods, we can develop more durable building materials with a lower environmental footprint. The ongoing excavations in Regio 9 are just the beginning. Italy's Ministry of Culture emphasizes that Pompeii remains a treasure chest with much to be revealed. Increased funding and the designation of a new museum to house these finds promise to accelerate this process. The Regio 9 construction site serves as a powerful reminder of the efficiency and resourcefulness of the Roman Empire. The use of hot mixing and potentially recycled materials like potsolanich ash offer valuable lessons for modern construction practices. As park director Gabriel emphasizes, studying these techniques can inspire us to develop faster, more sustainable building methods. Pompeii's story is far from over. With every excavation, we gain a deeper appreciation for the ingenuity and skill of its people. This construction site, meticulously preserved for almost two millennia, offers a glimpse into a bygone era, a testament to the enduring legacy of Roman engineering. And as archaeologists continue their meticulous work, we can expect even more discoveries to come to light, shedding new light on this vibrant ancient city. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Pompeii's past. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating journeys into history. See you next time.